In this video, I'll show you how to set up Smooth Messenger for the Cases module. One thing to note is that unlike in the Contacts and Leads modules where we can have this nice conversation view where you can see very easily the inbound and outbound SMS, we're not able to show that widget in the Cases module due to a Zoho limitation. Instead, what we can have is a very basic list here where you're able to see a little bit of what the SMS conversation was. It's not very easy to understand in comparison, but you could see it by using, say, these fields here, you're able to see what the message was and whether it was an outbound and inbound message. And you are also able to send out a message. I'll show you how to set that up. The first thing we're going to go we're going to do is we're going to need to modify the extension settings to allow us to use cases as a custom module. So we go into marketplace installed, configure smooth messenger, and then we're going to go down under advanced settings and modify where it has custom modules to use. You're going to put in cases in this section. The other thing you need to do is to go into the customized modules area, customized modules and fields, go into smooth messengers, change the layout, and you're going to need to add in a new lookup field called case name. The properties will look something like this, where it's pointing to the cases module. The field label should be case name exactly like this, and you can put whatever you want in the related list title. Once you have done that, you will probably need to reset your cache. So you'll come into the Zoho, the smooth inbox, click on the settings here and click on clear app cache. Once you've done that, you should be close to ready to go. The last thing you'll need to do is you're going to need to set up a widget for that. What we do is we go into developer space widgets, create a new widget, and it's going to look like this. I'm going to choose button and the hosting will be external. I'll share this URL in the YouTube video description. After you've done that, then you can come up here create a new button and we're going to point that button to the widget that we just created. You can keep it on the view page and then under custom actions, we'll choose open a widget and your widget that you created before should be available. Once you save that, you should see that you've got a button available and you can use that to send messages. The way it's going to work by default, it will pull it, pull the phone numbers out of the phone field. If you had a, a contact lookup field, it would also be able to pull phone numbers out of that. But for now, I'll just show you if there's a phone number associated with it. We can send out the message. And I'll show you in a second what it looks like when someone replies to that. Okay, we can see I just got a reply. And if I look in the inbox, I can see there's a, a new conversation here. I'm able to see the conversation view and I can respond. And if I have a look in the case, I'll be able to see the message history in a quite unintuitive manner, but nonetheless, I can still see it there in this area here. So we can see that we had the inbound message and then we responded to it after that.